I am officially bulletproofed. Yes, that's why my skin is glowing and I'm looking ripped and jacked. It's because every morning I take my mycotoxin free bulletproof coffee and mix it up with MCT oil and grass fed butter. Why do you ask? Well, it, uh, it does a lot of things. It uh, replaces my meal for the morning and it gets my brain all the right nutrients they need. Those oils, uh, that fat, and then I don't eat until one or two o'clock. So uh, it's not really just coffee, uh, it's turning into a lifestyle. And they're doing this at um, John Hopkins in Baltimore, I think, with some terminally ill cancer patients. I think they've been doing some psilocybin experiments where they bring them in and they, they bring them into a, a room. There's an attendant. They can bring um, pictures with them and mm. pillows. And yeah. I, I mean, tell me if I'm wrong. But no, no, all... you're absolutely right. I've, I've been there. So oh, really? we visited the team and, and oh, wow. sat, sat on the, the sacred couch. <laughs> really? And uh, we actually simulated without a drug um, the experience because um, we have a, a, a study of our own planned with depressed patients okay. and so we wanted to learn how they do it. What um, did you think of what they're doing there and can you describe what they're very, doing? Very, very impressed. Um, okay. Yes, they're very um, thoughtful and, and um, they're a very you know, careful team, uh, they're very good scientists. Uh, they really care about what they're doing, and I think they do it incredibly well. What, what specifically are they doing with, with psilocybin? Okay, so um, they've been giving uh, quite large doses of, of psilocybin, uh, single doses. Um, uh, uh, the earliest work was in healthy volunteers okay. um, and individuals who had never had a psychedelic experience before, and then they would have this... Uh, um, experience with a high dose of psilocybin given orally. How much higher compared to say the doses you use, like five times, ten yeah, times? Yeah, so, so we give two milligrams intravenously. Uh, they give up to 30 milligrams as an oral dose. Oral. Um, and uh, if you compare the subjective effects with two milligrams and 30 milligrams, uh, you know, two milligrams IV, that compares to roughly 10, 50 milligrams given orally. So we're giving a roughly half of what, what they give. Okay. Uh, the Baltimore team, the John Hopkins team, uh, they're much more likely to observe these kind of spiritual type experiences that, than uh, we have with our dose. Um, but yeah, the way they, they do it, they'll, they'll um, dose the individual and they play some very relaxing music. Um, the uh, um, individual lies on, on, on a couch and they'll... Um, they actually kneel uh, um, close to the couch. They don't. They don't. They they like to be on a on a lower level. They talk about kind of treating the individual having the experience um, with some kind of sort of reverence that, that they, wow. they they they're having all the insights. You know. Wow, they're very um, very detail oriented. Huh? Yeah, and quite humble. I think that, that they do that. You know, for them, it's it's the individual having the experience who's who ha has all the you know major insights and, and it's it's them that really uh yeah kind of you know know what's what they're kind of in in sort of awe of, of this individual having the experience um and yeah there's usually a couple of what they refer to as guides um who who look after the um the individual having the experience um, and what have they found out they, then they moved to terminally ill, terminally ill cancer they patients? have they've done that yeah so that the uh, John Hopkins team haven't yet published on that, but okay. um, with the healthy volunteers, they did find some quite incredible things. So um, people were reporting uh, that their experience was um, one of the most profound of the whole of their lives. And uh, they rated it, um, I think there was, it was about two thirds of the people who uh, were in the study, and there was a, a large, quite a large number of people uh, they rated it in the, um, about two thirds rated it in the top five um, most meaningful right. experiences. Uh, me and Alexander were like, yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, that, that makes sense to people who know, but it's, it's, it was a very useful study because it communicates how profound the experience is to people who are naive to the drug.